want to go to uh, Oklahoma now, in Oklahoma City, where you'll find the governor of that state. Uh, he has a comfortable lead in the polls right now to hang on to that job. His name is Kevin Stitt, of course, the Republican Oklahoma governor. Governor, very good to have you. You've seen, sir, what's going on, the battle back and forth, but, but not only for governor's mansions, including your own, but, but state houses across the country. A lot of interest in, uh, you know, a midterm election year. Um, governor races generally have that kind of allure, regardless of when they are. Uh, but the big issue in, in your state, uh, energy has come, come front and center. Could you explain how that is sort of resonating with voters? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me on. Uh, you know, when I think about the president of the United States, trying to have an energy independence policy. Every president since 1973 has had an energy independence policy. That's what we don't understand in Oklahoma, is why are you trying to stamp out the oil and gas industry and then beg Russia or OPEC to produce more oil? It doesn't make common sense to us. When we have Oklahoma companies and, and North Dakota and Pennsylvania and Texas, that we need to meet the needs of Americans with our own resources. And that's what we push in Oklahoma. And, and by the way, I love explaining this in Oklahoma. We're, we're number four in oil production, number three in natural gas, but we're also number two in wind energy. We need more of everything in America, more of everything in Oklahoma. And Oklahoma is leading the way, and we've got some of the cheapest electricity cost and most reliable energy grid in the entire country. And Washington, D.C. needs to take some, uh, take some pointers from the common sense approach from Oklahoma. Well, well, both parties have sometimes found your position intriguing, Governor. You're all in on everything. Uh, whatever we have here, exploit it here, leverage it here. And that appeals to a number of people. Uh, but, but having said that, what did you think of the president once again going after the oil companies, saying um, that they've been making way too much money, that maybe uh, that they need a windfall profits tax, maybe we have to go after them? Um, your thoughts? Well, for, first off, you know, God help us when we start attacking certain industries just because they're making, making you know, uh, a profit, which they should. They have a fiduciary responsibility to their shareholders, and it's just unbelievable. We, are a, we believe in capitalism and free markets, and that's why when the heavy hand of the government tries to put their thumb on the scale and move the needle, all they're doing is costing uh, average Americans more at the gas pump, more at the grocery store. You can see it in 40-year high inflation. Uh, so this nonsense about trying to do a, a windfall tax on uh, this industry, tomorrow it's a different industry, and this should not go on, and it's the, it's the liberal Democratic Party and the President Biden's party uh, that proposes this nonsense. Uh, we're still a capitalist society. Socialism does not work. And President Biden needs to think about that before he makes those type of offhanded comments uh, that, that aren't going to work. That's why Americans need to get out to vote. We need to make sure that we let our voices be heard and we regain the House and the Senate and put some pressure and bring some common sense back to, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, to Washington, D.C. You know, how does it fall for you then, Governor? I mean, you've been leading a jobs boom going on in Oklahoma and, of course, some incentives to get still more jobs. Uh, but the president says it's what he is doing on the national level, this backdrop of job gains, and I guess they're expecting 200,000 more on Friday when we get the September reports or, or the October report, I apologize, uh, that, that he's the reason for that, not you. What do you think? Well, y you can look and you can see where people are moving from. Right now, Oklahoma is number 11 in the country, not per capita, but true numbers of people moving to our state. And I get the number one state we're getting people from is California. And mm -hmm. when I meet those people, they tell me, Governor, it is because of your pro-business, pro-freedom policies. We're taxed at 13% in California. Oklahoma is, I have a plan to actually zero out our income tax over the next decade. And so people are moving uh, to places that aren't shutting their schools down. And they don't have the heavy hand of government um, you know, trying to dictate and mandate every part of their lives. I tell all of my regulatory bodies that we are clear with the rules, but we let businesses go compete. We never play gotcha. I'm trying to deregulate those things. Uh, and ultimately, we believe in, in lower taxes, smaller government, less regulation. And, and that's, the, that's the reason people are moving to our state. 
so it's really nothing that uh, Biden's doing. His states are losing population. So I think that's uh, uh, it's unbelievable that he would say that. All right. We'll follow it very, very closely. Uh, Governor Kevin Stitt of the beautiful state of Oklahoma. We did reach out to the governor's opponent, by the way, Joy Huffmeister. We have not heard back, but as is the case with every race, all the time, every time we reach out to all the key candidates. Some say yes, others say, well, sometimes they say nothing. They just don't return the call, but we try. All right.